Hi everyone, this is Terry. This is lesson three in the final lesson with the design database. In this lesson, we'll cover how to create an image file, an HTML file, and create a CSV file. We'll also talk about some of the options that you can select if you need to have your DST settings. And lastly, we'll talk about the help menu. The first thing we're going to talk about is create image file and HTML file. Now you'll need to select a few designs to see this. So we'll just select these designs of a few of the bowlers here. And we'll hold the shift key to select those. And I might uh, select the these two designs that are beneath it as well. What I'll do is choose File, Create Image File, and HTML, and I'll just call this Miscellaneous Sports, and I can select a layout. The page layout is for the HTML file, so I want to see the largest view, and then I'll call this Miscellaneous Sports design and choose save. What happens is it creates two files. One of those is the file folder for the JPEGs and the second is the actual file. You can see what the uh, JPEGs look like. I've created one for baseball in a previous recording that I created. Let me back up and we'll look for the sports folder and you'll see that right here miscellaneous sports and you'll see the JPEG image of those four, four designs. Now this would be helpful if you were digitizing something for someone and you wanted to send them a photo of the design and they were not a digitizer or somebody that was interested in the stitches this would probably be the view that you would want to see them. But if they were someone that was interested in the stitch count, and we'll locate the HTML file, and here it is, you would send them this particular layout, and if you had more, you could select the more items to the page. So you can see that it's giving all the information. It gives a, a picture of the, the design, gives a design name, the size, stitch count, color changes, and the total number of colors. So this, again, was by selecting the file menu and choosing Create Image File and HTML. We'll select all of the designs by going to Edit and Select All, and we'll create what's called a CSV file. A CSV file is a comma-separated value file. When you create or design a database and you share information, you share it in this format. I'll go ahead and choose the name sports and I've already saved this once before so if I save it again it will ask if I want to replace it and since I don't want to we'll just go over to Excel and we'll open up the file so I have Excel here and in Excel you can see the name of the file because I had opened it previously and we'll look at the view of the file comma separated value means that in the first row of a, of a CSV file, what you'll see are the field names, and each column represents a field in this data structure. The second row will contain the first record, meaning this is the first design that is in this 2500 sports and games, and it's this file name, the size, the stitched count, color changes, and so forth. You'll also see information about the threads and if you populated information about the design name, category, and keywords, that would be here as well. Where this is helpful, you'll notice where it is showing where these files are stored on your system. If you're trying to reorganize your all of your designs and you wanted to 
perhaps create a file folder that's called sports and you wanted to take all the sports related designs from multiple designers and create folders underneath that, you might want to mark up the printed version of this showing where you want to move these files to and that way you can locate the folder that they're in right now and then move them to the all to the folder that would be called sports. So it's very helpful for reorganizing purposes and it's also a good way to keep up with the designs you have and it doesn't take up as much room as perhaps pr printing out a catalog with a picture of the designs. The next thing that we'll talk about is going to the option menu. Some people have machines that only take a DST file and if that's the case in, or if you buy a design it's only in the DST format you may want to specify the number of jumps for trim and this will be a number between 1 and 8 or you, you might want to specify the number of jumps for trim for an export file. So the first is for the import and the second is for exporting DST files. The last thing I wanted to cover is the ability to get to the online instruction manuals. Like everything else in PE design, you always have the online instruction manual at, available by going to the help menu. You can also go to customer support and here you can download updates. You can also read the facts or if there's a question that you have that you need to submit to Brother, you can do that through customer support. If you want to know what version of software you're running and which version of the design database, you can always go to About Design Database. I hope this series of videos has been helpful in helping you to understand how to use design database. I appreciate your time today. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them and share them with a friend. Thank you and have a great day.